opportunity to create the opportunity and uh, i think it's important that we women create this opportunity for each other if not you know have someone else make it for us to do it ourselves and i think that's important we you know step up and use our voice for something that affects all of us and we need to wake up from our sleep about all of these all this injustice and all this prejudice because we can't do it like my dad uh someone who's patriarchal views i've been able to it's not completely changed i've been able to break it for sure you know, the way he looks at my career i never thought he would look at it that way and that's only because i was like i am not doing anything else i'm not giving up because i i, I would not be able to quit if you like this is that i've learned from being uh from starting out as a fresher to being the head of an agency after about 12 or 13 odd years and i think the biggest one of them is to overcome doubt but i think the loudest noise in our voice is our own selves but we keep telling ourselves that i can do this and i cannot do this and along the way somewhere they cannot become so loud that we we start giving up on things so it's it's that's a huge challenge honestly uh, to quiet down your own voice and keep telling it very vocally and very loudly in your head i will not listen to you i will not listen to you telling me that i can't achieve something or i can't do something and that's a huge power tool for me it's a very fulfilling experience because rarely do you get a platform where you can actually give back to society if any one of us gains that opportunity to give back i think we must all seize it so i'm grateful to she was for having created this and uh, my own experience is that i was a banker uh, with uh, several years of experience and life called out to me i set up my own firm but not so great firm called new coach 360 and eventually i even got a new firm so my passion and that was knowledge is power the more you spread it around the more you get it many fold so women out there who have the power to empower yourself so Shiroz is one of the greatest platform in the world. Yes, I'm Bakshi. I'm from the military nursing services. I've taken premature retirement. Life here is a real drama, and to save a patient's life or a soldier's life is my prime uh, duty. So I think saving life. is your hero is yes i do want him to attend the shiro summit in delhi but last year i had a small accident i couldn't go so this year i'm here in mumbai to meet the other the, 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 the sheer determination of everybody all the participants and the speakers and uh, I, i think it's only you now matter of time i mean we women have always have been strong except that you know we have been subdued by society and now we are uh, breaking the shackles and uh, to a large extent even our parents are happy you know like i'm a more progressive progressive mom compared to about my mother also so and i'm sure my daughters will also be more progressive given the environment in which they're growing up thanks to uh, summits and organizations like uh, shiros uh, that you know sometimes we do tend to take a back seat uh, but you bring us out there in the front and remind us that yeah we are the priority in our own life what do you do with your children you know how have you raised them yeah. well i told them And the first thing I did was to teach my sons how to cook, and that's it. <laughs> I don't have to teach my daughters. <laughs>